Now that we are done with recursive feature elimination, the next which comes in this series is these two sequential forward selection and sequential backward selection and implementation of these two are quite similar to these two which we had learned in the beginning itself while we started with wrapper method which are forward selection and backward elimination hence i'm going to leave this on you you please go ahead and try to implement this the implementation is going to be exactly the same right so um, i will skip this to one and i'll directly jump to the embedded method and out of that we are going to be talking about lasso lasso regression so lasso regression is something we also use to train the model here we are going to see how to do use this for feature selections right so for example over here what you uh, see is let's try to understand this with the help of an example so in example let's say this is your data which has one target feature called loan status and five independent features now what lasso regression does is first it finds the coefficient for each of the features and does the scorings to find those coefficient it uses linear regression so if you see this is how let's say this is how it does the scoring so these scoring which you see are not the real uh, scoring which came out of training the model these are just the hypothetical numbers for example okay so what you see young has score as three low has four etc now after this lasso does the uh, shrinkage shrinkage of the features by penalizing them by with lambda so let's say the given value is one by which we, uh, the feature need, will be penalized it's very simple right so in this shrinkage it is simple simply lambda is subtracted from the initial score and this is how we get the new coefficient so what you see is new coefficient equals to x minus lambda where x is the initial score minus lambda is this value so this is what we get now once you do this you notice this particular feature which is male uh, i mean with this feature simply says whether the applicant was male or female this has the new coefficient as zero so the moment we see this as zero the lasso regression by default remove this eliminate this feature so this is how it eliminates the feature which are less valued and keeps those features which are more valuable so you see these two are the strongest feature into this and these two are also contributing well so this is how we come up with the specific set of features which are needed for our model building right so hope this was clear to you i'm not getting going to get into too much of the mathematical terms in case if you are interested in learning uh, learning lasso in lot more detail along with the mathematical terms do let me know i'll make a separate video now i'll take you to the python i'll show you how to implement this so for that what i have done is i've already imported the dependencies the things which you require is to have the train test split then this lasso you need to import from uh, scalar and linear model okay then standard scalar i have imported because i would require to scale my data as well right so whenever we are working on lasso it is recommended that you look uh, look at your data and see uh, scaling is important or what right mostly they, this is important right so we should be using that scaling thing right now moving on though here the features are quite uh, in same parameter same measurement usually what happens when we need to do the scaling is let's say in your data set you have one feature as age the other feature is as salary so salary number which you see in salary digits which you see in salary will be quite higher than what you see in age right so at that point of time scaling becomes more critical to do and what i mean is more important to do right but over here it should still be fine but uh, to be on safer side I, I will be doing the scaling of it also right now moving on over here so what i have done is i have splitted the data in target and independent feature now after that i'm going to do the scaling for that so for that i have i had imported the scaler and i am going to create an instance for that okay first of all let me run this and then here comes the scaler the scaler right this is done now the next part which comes is x scaled i'm going to create x scaled and for that scalar dot fit transform and inside that i need to provide my data which is x 
now my data is scaled now i will require to do the train test split train train test split and for that as you know i always do this shift tab go into this and copy this index from here because i don't really want to use the time which in something which can be done very easily so there is no need to hesitate in copying it from the description now over here i have x so i will replace x with x scaled and y i'm going to keep same right now after that the data is splitted in training and testing now next thing which we need to do is create the instance for lasso so i'm going to say lasso instance instance and over here i would say lasso and we need to put some value for alpha so i'm going to use that value as 0 0.1 right you can it completely depends on the scenario right here i'm keeping 0 0.1 you can you may like to keep it a different one you i would suggest that you try this with different values right here i am going to show you the example with 0 0.1 but my recommendation is that you use different different values over here and try it again okay now once this is done in the next one what i'm going to do is lasso instance dot fit and inside that i'm going to say x train and y train well done we are done with this now we will see the coefficient of the features let's say coefficient and let's see this is the coefficient which we have got now what you observe over here almost all of the features are having coefficient zero except these four right except these four everything is having coefficient of zero so what we observe is these are the four these are the only four features which we require to train our model now let's see what are these four features so in in our data which is x we can fetch the column names these are the columns and along with that we can concatenate these uh, these values right then we will get which feature are selected okay and wherever it is zero i'll remove them simply okay now just let's just try let's just say selected features and here i'm going to say feature for feature comma coef in zip and inside zip i'm going to say x comma sorry x dot columns comma lasso instance dot coef so what i'm doing is i'm taking all the columns from x data set and lasso and coefficient from this lasso training which we have just done lasso fit which we just did right and this is it now here i would put one more parameter if coef the here i am iterating through it and i am saying if coef not equals to zero then only give me those things there seem to be some net uh, not network issue but the syntax issue okay i think that is done and now over here i can just see what are the features which have been selected so these are the most four important features which we should be using in our model building right so this is how you can use the lasso uh, lasso regression for feature selection hope it was simple and clear to understand in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you very very all the best